fucking moron! Hey! Moron! Duh! Look, look, look at me! I'm the woo water boy, duh! How about them cowboys? Oh my goodness. Good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Oh man. Listen to this. Shout out to my man Ron Oliver with we Cowboys Jones, Music. There's Mike McCarthy. We showed you Jerry Jones. There's Mike McCarthy. The pick is in. The pick is in. How about them cowboys? I love it. I love it. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Don't forget, today, 5 o'clock Eastern, we will be having our last call-in show. If you are a channel member, uh, the link will be in the community tab to join in. Give us your thoughts. Who should the Dallas Cowboys draft? Now, we have gone through a lot of negativity this offseason. And you know what? I'm going to turn, turn that frown upside down. I want to remind you guys, because we right now, we it's the Eagles world, and we're just living in it at this moment. You know, we see the Eagles with all of their shiny new pieces. We know the Eagles got more draft picks than we do. They done spent $400 million, you know, of money and things like that. And, of course, Philly 500 is constantly texting me with all of the great news and the great stories that they have. But I want to remind you of a couple of things here. There's an old saying called, he who laughs last, laughs the loudest. I just want to stroll down memory lane to just kind of put some of this stuff in perspective, okay? Howie Roseman has done some incredible things. I'm not going to lie to you. He has worked magic with um, the salary cap. He has uh, found a way of getting out of uh, the Carson Wentz situation where they ended up getting draft picks and so on. But not everything that they do is perfect. And you honestly, when you think that the Dallas Cowboys with Dak Prescott have a 9-4 and four record against those Eagles. Now, Eagle fans will say, yeah, well, you know, some of those games we were resting our stars. Yeah, so were we. One of those victories we had already sewn up. I know it won at least of your victories was because we were resting our stars. And I believe it was only one of yours that was. So I think that kind of counsels each other out. The best thing that could ever happen to the Cowboys would be if they could face the Eagles in the playoffs. I, I'll be 100% real because we keep facing our nemesis that we've had throughout our history of the 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. Uh, you know, we, we've had a lot of problems with those guys. So maybe it's just dumb luck or... Just, I don't know what it is. But I want to remind you that all of these moves that you see with the Eagles don't always translate into great things. Because we sit here and think, oh my God, you know, they signed Bryce Hoff. You know, man, that guy, you know, he, he, he's a great player and stuff. He had 10 sacks last year. Well, the, the years before that, he had like three and two the, the first three years that he, he was there. And when you think that they lost Hassan Reddick, and that's the replacement, I'm not sure that, that, that that's that good. And yes, they've had a lot of great draft picks and stuff, but they've had a lot of flops. Let's stroll down memory lane, shall we? Yo, by the way, Kate Ding back here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. We got huge, huge, monstrous, gigantic, quadrilateric. Breaking news right now as the Eagles trade for 
Safety Kevin Byard. Who said it couldn't happen? Who said Howie Roseman wasn't going to do anything? You knew it was coming, especially after last night. But, man, mm. this isn't just a trade. This is highway robbery. Howie Roseman fleeced. I mean fleeced the Tennessee Titans yet again. Now, before we get into all of it, if you do the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored. The most. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup. But we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You... This makes up for this makes up for David Ojabo. This is a great pick, great mm -hmm. pick, great pick, great pick. Mark Holmes stinks. <laughs> Dallas stinks. Eagles are winning. We are building a dynasty. <laughs> I love it. I love Kobe it. Kobe Dean, the Kobe Dean. That's right. Me. I'm actually. I'm freaking shocked. I'm freaking shocked too. But I, I love it. <laughs> Boom! We nailed this mother. Nailed that mother. Uh -huh. We got Nicobe. How the fuck did we do this? I don't we know. In the first round, AJ Brown, Jerkins. We are kicking ass in this draft, man. This is a total ass kicking. I'm gonna go off, Joey. I'm gonna go <laughs> off because this is some shit. I mean, what a great thing. You gotta, you gotta you, this is crazy. You gotta go off. You Holy gotta shit. go off. How, are you guys like, how can anybody not be excited? You got Jurgens and we waited and we still got Jurgens wouldn't have been there. The Jurgens pick is a better pick because we got Dean. Yeah, those are a few. I of... mean, with his injury concerns. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of interesting to say the least. D wouldn't you agree on that? Eagles are the Eagles. Y you know, I, I do this because this is our time to shine right now. This is when, you know, the, this is like a heavyweight fight right now. The Eagles have gotten in their early haymakers. They've, uh, you know, gotten their you know, free agent signings, they've gone out, they've changed their coaching staff, they've done all of these things just like they did last year. All of these things. And you sit here and you say, wow, they've spent $400 million. We've spent eleven. But how is that any different than after the 2020 season where we were 6-10, and 10, Dak Prescott was injured, and we just proceeded to get rid of contracts over the next couple of years. We ended up letting go Cedric Wilson. We ended up getting rid of Amari Cooper. We ended up letting Connor Williams, Lyle Collins go. Um, we have made move after move of really in action. And then, of course, Zeke is gone. And now Tony Pollard is gone. But the thing that's different about the Cowboys versus the Eagles is it's out of necessity that Howie Roseman has to go out there and get free agents to come in because they had so many different players that they've drafted that have not panned out. And that's the difference because as they, okay, for example, let's, let's, let's give this example and we'll find out if it's right or not. Okay. We had Randy Gregory who had a lot of promise in his game. Everybody thought Randy Gregory was going to be an incredible pass rusher. He signs a five-year, $75 million deal. Everybody killed us and said, you're going to regret letting that guy go. And what happens is, Dorrance Armstrong 
has two seasons better than any season that Randy Gregory has. And it didn't cost us a fortune or draft picks to get him. When Dalton Schultz didn't get re-signed last year, everybody said, how can you let that guy go? Because they knew that they had uh, Jake Ferguson ready to step in. They believe, we know what we got with this guy. We're better off getting him than going out and getting somebody else because he's in our system. And see, we are replacing. As one guy goes, we've had been able to have people step in. And I'm actually looking and feeling better about this because we've had so many times where we've looked and said, we've got nobody in a position. When Randy Gregory went, we looked and we said, we don't have that. We, we, we got to go out and get somebody. But we had a guy stepped in. And now as Dorrance Armstrong goes, I think that Sam Williams is going to step in. And as much maligned as Mozzie Smith has been, where they tell you he's a bust, I'm going to tell you that him going back to being a one technique, fat ass to clog up the middle, going back to what he did before, is going to be the difference right then and there. Going from college to pros is a difficult transition. And that's when you know what you're supposed to do. But now I have to drop 40 pounds, which changes my whole body. It changes the things that I'm able to do because normally I got some weight to be able to fight. I'm used to playing with a guy 10 inches in front of me where I can immediately grab a hold of him and do something and have that meat, that weight to be able to do something to now having to be outside and having to take a couple of steps to get there, that that guy is going to step in and be better than what Hankins was. In the same way, Jake Ferguson stepped in and had better seasons than Dalton Schultz. So as the Eagles are constantly bringing in all these people, I look at this and I say, when they go through and they draft, and I remember Jordan Davis pick is in they just trade up with baltimore garrett wilson was just taken at 12 by detroit who trade up for 32 why would they do that detroit so stupid but eagles pick is in and and i see it like three guys dude i see it either um jermaine johnson hamilton or jordan davis it's gotta be one of those three no come on let's get this thing going they take forever they take forever to make a, to, this thing. So the mm -hmm. Eagles trade the 13th overall pick, the 15th pick overall, 2022 fourth round pick, and two 2022 fifth round picks. Man, they gave a lot up. They gave up a lot. Wow. They gave a lot up. It, it, uh, I don't. Drake London is not here anymore, so I'm not going to have a meltdown unless it's a quarterback. And if it's a quarterback, I'm going to go off, Joey. I'm, I'm trying to avoid the chat on purpose because, you know, you always get people who are – who who are dicks? So <laughs> so I can't I can't see what they're saying. All right, the pick is in. Let's go. Here we go. Come on, come on, commission. Let's go. Man, I'm waiting. Pick is, is he in. sweating it? He's sweating pick it. Is in and it ain't in my nose. Let's go. Take for dude. This is taking forever. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Pick is in number thirteen. Here we go. Gotta be, it's gotta be a defensive lineman. I gotta think it's a defensive lineman. Come on, let's go. Let's go. They are taking forever. <laughs> this is killing me, man. This oh, me. Lordy. This takes forever. Let's go. A lot of Eagle fans there, but what's the pick? You went to commercial trade. What's the pick? I can't take this. What do they take so long for? Just announce the pick. Now they're bringing out all these people. Oh, come on, ready. Who are these people? I just want to know who the pick is. <laughs> it's you killing know? him. Oh, I, I'm so happy the draft is here. All right, here we go. How about them? Let's go, go baby. Let's go. Here we go. Come on, Philly. I ain't got all day. Bishop Gorman. That's where Randall Cunningham's someone. Just saying. Come on, Eagles. 
Come on, Philly. We got over 2,700 people in here. Thanks so much. Oh, my God. It's this stuff killing, is killing me. You just picked already? <laughs> I can't wait for the What is with all this crap? Oh, shit. What's the pick? What's the pick? Here we go. Come on, baby. Give me something good. With the 13th pick. Jordan. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yes! We got the there beast! There you go. <laughs> we got the beast! We got that Mohammed beast! <laughs> I said, I said all along, okay. most likely guy. That made the most sense all off season. This made the, take that, Mark Holm. Take that, Cowboy fans. <laughs> we got the beast! Oh. I love this pick. I love it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I love that pick. He loves that pick, and now he's cussing him out and telling him he he's giving up donuts if Jordan Davis will give up donuts as well. So here's my point here, good people. You know, we get all worked up, and you know we get pissed off and everything else. And here it is. You you look at the Eagles. You know they're all in. They're doing everything in the world. They're signing this player and the other thing. And this is a team that lost six of their last seven games, including to the Cowboys, that literally had everything sewed up. That all season long, all off season, we heard they were the Super Bowl favorite. They started out 10-0 and doing all this stuff. And in the end, they lost to Tampa Bay and Baker Mayfield. So relax a little bit, take it easy, and let's go enjoy the draft. Now, I'm going to finish this off with Tony Romo talking about what it's like being a quarterback with the Cowboys. Playing professional sports is difficult on anyone mentally. But she got that shit right. I say the wrong thing or something, someone gets affected. No, I'm pretty old. So to me, I'm like beyond. No offense, you guys. But, you know, you create a turtle shell over the years and you kind of just be like, just go play. Just go get better. Just go play and win. Solves everything. And that's the job, you know, for anyone who plays professional sports. A lot's on the plate for the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys for Dak. He's going to take the brunt of it like most quarterbacks do in any city. When you play in the most nationally televised games, more people watch. I mean, things that Jerry has helped build are incredible. That's a positive for the National Football League, for every player, for every mm-hmm. coach. Everything. I mean, there's you know, sometimes people talk about that as negative. I don't. It takes... A really good combination of coach, player, team, and sometimes a random bounce of a ball, which you don't want to depend on. Playing professional sports is difficult. There you have it. In other words, this shit ain't easy. It's a freaking pressure cooker. And that the things that the Dallas Cowboys do benefits everybody in the NFL. And with that being said, good people, I've got some work to do. And we're going to roll on out. Shout out to my man, Ron Oliver, with Cowboys Music, who keeps bringing us the hits. How about them Cowboys? I can't wait for the draft. The Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. We showed you Jerry Jones. There's Mike McCarthy. We showed you Jerry Jones. There's Mike McCarthy. The pick is in. The pick is in. How about them Cowboys?